First, we will license PHC private hire car booking service operators. Currently, LTA already regulates taxi operators under the Road Traffic Act, RTA. And third party service booking, I beg your pardon, and third party taxi booking service providers under the Third Party Taxi Booking Service Providers Act, TPB Act. Like taxi operators, PHC booking service operators have an equally important responsibility in ensuring commuter and driver safety in the course of their operations. The bill will give LTA the necessary regulatory levers to ensure that the PHC booking service operators discharge these responsibilities. With this change, LTA will have regulatory oversight over all major P2P operators in Singapore. Secondly, we will regulate P2P operators based on whether they provide street hail or ride hail services. Currently, LTA has one set of regulations for taxi operators, which generally provide a mix of street hail and ride hail services, and another set of regulations for third party booking service providers. However, street hail and ride hail services have different characteristics and need to be regulated differently. This will ensure that our regulations are fit for purpose. Given the growing proportion of ride hail trips, it makes better sense to have one set of regulations for all street hail services and a different set of regulations for all ride hail services, regardless of the type of vehicle used. This means that taxi operators will be required under our new regulatory framework to hold separate licenses for their street hail and ride hail services. PHC booking service operators and TPB service providers will be licensed as ride hail service operators. And LTA will also be able to issue different subclasses of street hail and ride hail service licenses, such as for operators offering different types of services. So if I may clarify, today we already regulate the drivers through the TDVL and PDVL licensure process. We already regulate the vehicles as a taxi vehicle um, regulatory regime, a private hire car regulatory regime. And what this bill sets out to do is now regulate the operators. But in regulating the operators, we're regulating them on the basis of a service that is provided, not on who the operator is.